Hey everybody, welcome back to the Oxygen channel and another tutorial video. My name is Jonathan and I also have a YouTube channel called Permaslug where you'll find lots of Oxygen and WordPress related content. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to create a table in Oxygen using the advanced custom fields repeater and the Oxygen repeater elements. In our example today, we're going to create a comparison table for three different types of website hosting plans that our imaginary hosting company offers. So the table that you're looking at on your screen is the one that we're going to build, and I'm, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to get that set up. So on the back end of the website, this is what it's going to look like on our hosting plans page. We'll have the ACF repeater set up where you can input all this data so you and a client can add and remove rows from the table super easily. So I'm going to close out of these two tables and move over to this other development install that I have going. And as you can see right now, I have a hosting plans page created, but we're going to start off by going and creating an advanced custom fields group. Now this is advanced custom fields pro, which you have to have to get access to the repeater element. So make sure you have the pro version installed. With the field group title here, this can be anything you want. This is not actually going to show up on the front end. So I'm just going to call this hosting plans. Now I only want this hosting plans field group to show up on my page called hosting plans. So I'm going to set this post type is equal to page and the page is equal to hosting plans. And so that means that if I had other pages on the site, like my homepage, this field group is not going to show up. Let's go ahead and click the add field button in this field label. You can call all hosting plans and then this field type, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and choose repeater. Scroll down a little bit more and you'll see this subfield section pop up. This is where you can start adding all of the fields that you're going to need later on. So of course the first one will probably be like your plan name and then you can just add in all of the rest of the ones that you need from here. I'm going to go ahead and do this and jump ahead. Okay, so I have all of my fields here. I have six of them. And so now what I'm ready to do is go ahead and actually edit the hosting page. Um, before you, you click the edit with oxygen button though, if you look down here, you'll see the custom field group we just set up. I'm gonna start by adding in a couple of rows to fill in the data for the hosting plans. And again, you're just gonna you know basically start off by typing in all of the information. So this first plan is called basic. This can support one site. It comes with, I don't know, 250 gigs of bandwidth, one gigabyte of RAM maybe like 50 gigs of SSD and it costs you 20 bucks a month. So you can see you just basically type everything in and I'm gonna go ahead and do this and jump ahead one more time. Once you have all the data input in your repeater down here, just make sure to click the update button. And then once you get the page updated, notice you can go ahead and click edit with oxygen. So the first thing I'm gonna do to match our example from earlier is add in a section and I'm gonna give this section a background color of like an off white. And then let's add in a heading and I'm going to use the dynamic data function here to insert the post title of this page for us automatically, which of course is just hosting plans. I'm going to go ahead and add in another section and we're going to have two things inside of this section that are actually wrapped in a div. So before we wrap it in a div, just to show you, let's go ahead and add in a column element. For now, you can just set this to like 25%. We're going to add in two more, two more um, columns here in just a second. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do with this column element is change it to stack columns vertically, change that to never. And then from here, what we can do is go ahead and add in our repeater. I always like to search for these, it makes it a lot quicker, pull the repeater out of that column. And then you can just pop it down below the column, just like that inside of this repeater. We're also going to add in another column. Once again, do the same thing, stack columns vertically, set that to never. Now in both of these columns, we're gonna actually add in two more divs to create a six wide column here. So you can basically just duplicate this div twice. And then it's gonna kind of do the math for you to make it fit, but I'm gonna change the width of this, this div right here to 20% and then all the rest of them are gonna be 16%. So just go down the line and change this and it's gonna get pretty close. And then the last one is set to 16% for us. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, duplicate this div twice, and then let's go change the widths one more time. So there we go. So this column up here is gonna contain our heading. So let's start off by adding in a heading element. The first thing I'm gonna do is give this a class of like hosting headings. And then that way, any change that I make to one of these headings with that same class applies to all the others. So I'm just gonna change this to plan. And then let's reduce this font size down to something like 22 pixels, maybe a little bit bigger, 24, something like that. And then I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times, pop it in over here. And now with the classes, what I can do is if I change the font size, then it applies to all the other ones. That's why classes are really great. If you're not sure why I just applied that. Now, of course, I'm going to change these headings to what they're actually supposed to be like sites and bandwidth and so on. 
Okay, so now all of the headings are correct. I'm gonna go ahead and set this column to a background color, kind of like our page title up there, and make it that off-white color. And then I want the top border to be a radius of 15 on the top left and right corner, so it has a nice little rounded edge effect. From here, we're ready to go ahead and start inputting the text for our repeater that's going to contain the actual information in our table. So let me click in this div and expand the structure pane just to show you we're actually working inside of our repeater and we really only have to add this data once and it's gonna replicate out for us. So let's go back to the repeater, change the query type to use ACF repeater, all hosting plans and click apply. And then now we can click in this first div here. Let's add in a text element Double click this to show the insert data button and you can choose repeater field. And of course we were working with our plan name. So insert that and then you can see, you can see it pops in the plan name for us. So once again, just to kind of get the point across, let's go to text, double click this, insert data, repeater field. And then we're working with our sites, how many sites are included in each hosting plan. And then you can see it shows the number of sites included just like we want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again to fill in the rest of this data here. Okay, so our table is coming along nicely as you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and save and we can take a look on the front end so you can see what it looks like. If you take a look at the Chrome inspect tool and change your viewport to something like an iPhone, you can see it's all kind of crammed and smooshed together and that is not at all how you want it to look on the phones. So that is super simple to change. Let's go back to the visual editor here. So what we're gonna do is actually add a div to this. We're gonna set this divs width to 100% and then let's take this column element and let's just drag it inside of our div here. And then it's easy once you have something inside of a div to add another element to it inside the structure pane. So I just expanded the structure pane and I'm gonna drag the repeater in. And then of course I'm gonna put our column back on top of our repeater like that. So now with this div, what I'm gonna do is go to the uh, responsive selector of less than 992. And then at this, I'm gonna go to layout and we're gonna set the overflow to scroll. Now the headings right here look a little bit big, but because we're in our responsive selector, what we can do is just decrease the font size a bit to kind of make it fit. So maybe something more like 18 pixels like that. And then from here, we only need to make one other change, which is selecting this section, going to advanced layout. And once again, we're gonna set the overflow to scroll. Let's save and take a look on the front end. We'll just use the Chrome inspect tool here to take a look. We're set to the iPhone 6, 7, 8 size right now. And as you can see, you can just scroll left and right on the screen like that. So that's perfect. Let's go ahead and move back to the oxygen editor. And I wanna show you how to create an alternating background row for each of the repeater elements here. So if you go ahead and click on the div that wraps all of this content here, if you look in the structure pane, it's the one directly beneath the repeater. It's the main repeater div. What you can do is just set a class of table row. And then let's add in a code block inside of this section. Inside this code block, you can just basically delete out the PHP. Inside the CSS section, I'm just gonna paste in the following CSS code, which basically just says every even row of our repeater div, it's gonna change the background color to the same off-white that our headings and our page title are set to. So you'd probably want your CSS to look more, more along those lines. So I'm gonna click apply. And then because it says no code found, what I'm gonna do is set layout to display none. Let's take a look on the front end one more time. And now you can see that because we set that class, now our table rows have that alternating background color. So as you can see, we put together this table relatively easily thanks to the oxygen and the ACF repeater elements in conjunction with one another. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in a future video.